Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to sync your form submissions with Google Sheets. This is really useful when you want to have a secondary backup of your submissions, or maybe you want to integrate with a third party software that integrates with Google Sheets. So, let me show you how this is accomplished right now. Okay, this is our Job Form dashboard. Let's get started by creating a brand new form. So, let's go into create a form. We're going to select start from scratch and we're going to select classic form. Let's get started by dragging in the elements that we might need for our form. So let's go into add form elements. And for this case, we'll just add some demo elements for this. For example, we'll ask for the name, the phone number, maybe let's see how some short text for some questions there, some long text, some drop down. There we go, drop down, and let's name these. We'll keep phone number as it is. We'll ask a question like, do you like top form? Just a simple question. A drop down menu for uh, contact area. And we'll add some fields right here. For example, we'll say support, sales, accounting, and that's good for that. Just for now, ask a question to say, Add your comments here and last but not least let's add the email field here on the bottom okay so hypothetically we're gonna say that this is the form that we want or this is what we have and now we're going to integrate with Google Sheets so let's head over to settings we're gonna go into integrations and we're gonna select Google Sheets select it right here and now we have to authenticate with Google Sheets. What it's going to do is going to ask you if you really want to connect Google Sheets with JotForm. So it, both of them have permission to contact each other. So it's going to authenticate. Select the account that you want to use. Let's allow. And we want to create a new spreadsheet or use an existing spreadsheet. In this case, we'll use an existing spreadsheet. Select this one. We'll select the spreadsheet name. So let's find it. And we're going to select this one that we're going to use job form test. So let's select it. Now, this is a job form that, no, sorry, this is a Google sheet that's completely clean. Nothing has been done to it. The only thing I have done is added the title. That's all. I haven't formatted any rows. I haven't done anything special to it. Okay, let's go back to our job form. And now it's going to ask us, what fields do you want to sync with Google Sheets? Maybe you, you don't need all of them. Maybe you, ju you just need, for example, name and phone number. You can remove these or we can keep them so everything is sent over there. OK, you can also add the submission ID, the submission date, submission IP and submission edit link. So these fields also get added to Google Sheets just in case if you want to add those. And next, we also have the option to send existing submissions to the sheet. So, for example, if you already have a form that you've been working with before, they already have submissions, well, we can sync those to Google Sheets now. So you don't have to fill in everything again. Now, in this case, it's a brand new form, so we can keep it on or off. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's finish. And let's go test it out. Let's go into publish open in a new tab and let's fill this out for example i'll add my name really quickly here we'll just add a random phone number do you like jot form we'll say yes the contact area we'll say sales comments um i love jot form the email we'll just add a random email and we'll say submit okay now it's been submitted this submission should be synced with google sheets so let's go check out our google sheets so we have our google sheet right here and it's added to a brand new tab you can see form down here and we have the submission date the name that we just filled out the phone number do you like dot form so we have the answer on the bottom the contact area the add comments here and the email let's add one more let's go close this Let's fill it out one more time with different information so you can see it's also synced over there. So in this case, we'll just say test, last name test two, random phone number, do you like jot form? Yes, the contact area, this one will be accounting. And OK, 
Okay, let's add another email. So we'll just say test2 at test.com and let's go ahead and submit it. So now we've submitted a secondary submission. Let's go back into our job form and now it's been added automatically. That is how you integrate JotForm with Google Sheets, but we're not finished there. We're also going to show you JotForm tables, which is another alternative to Google Sheets with a more advanced looking features and a more neat way to organize all your submissions. So let me show you. Let's go back into JotForm. Let's go back to the main area of JotForm. And this is the form we've just created. What we're going to do is we're going to click on more and we're going to go into submissions. This is going to open up JotForm tables. Okay, this is our job form tables and you're going to see it's a more clean way to look at all your submissions. Plus we have different options to, for example, update our selection, for example, well not our selection, someone that filled out the form, if they made a mistake and it's not an accounting, well we can update it right here. Or for example, let's just say it was support and not sales. We can also edit this information. We can also view this in a different way. So for example, let's go into add a brand new tab. We can view another way of tables, a calendar view, if we had submissions by date or we want to view them by date. There's also cards. Let me show you this one really quickly. So for example, we'll import what we'll connect with a form, which is this form right now. Let's go ahead and continue. And we're going to select what we would actually want to view on that card. So we have a much more cleaner way of looking at our submissions. So for example, we might not want to see for submission date, last update date, but we do want the name, the phone number, and the email. We could use these cards, for example, just to view the contact information at a quick way. For example, at a glance right here, we can see their name, the phone number, and the email. So if you want to contact them, that's a really neat way to do it. There's also more type of views. So for example, if we want to, well, if we had uploads, we can view the upload images right here in a clean way. In different, for example, Google Sheets, we can't change the submissions to something that happened. For example, what we saw, if you wanted to change this row right here, well, this column that says sales, we can't change it to accounting. Well, we have to type it in. But if there's areas that we have that are not used right here, well, we have to know what they are so we can update it here. But in Google Tables, we have the advanced view of doing all of that. There's also reports available. Let's click on reports. Again, we're going to choose reports for this one. We can have a compact report. Go to next. And we have a neat way of looking at reports right here. So there's tables to view what type of areas they connected. So depending on the submissions that you receive in the fields, it's the report that we're going to have right here. We can modify this. We can move them around. We can resize them. We can add other type of graphs right here. So for example, if I wanted to add one more, let's just say we want to add a, for example, our domain right here. So for example, let's just say at the end, mydomain.com. Okay, and let's center it about there, there. This is just for demo purposes. Um, we can also work with data. Let's go around here. For example, if we select this type of chart, let's go into settings. And let's just say we don't want to view it in a column chart. We want to view a part pie chart, a donut chart, a basic chart, or a bar chart. So you can see that job form tables has a really advanced way of organizing all your submissions. So you have those two options. Well, I hope you like this video and now you know how to integrate your job form with Google Sheets and also the alternative that you have available already, job form tables. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.